We are starting with some energy news in this 530 news block as Duke Energy is asking customers for their input and how they plan to address our state's growing energy needs. It's the latest in a push to address what energy providers say is a growing need to bring more power to South Carolina. Our Josie Frost is at the State House with more on our energy future and its impact on rural communities. Josie. Duke Energy's integrated resource plan is the latest way the utility provider plans to expand to meet what a spokesperson tells me is the growing industry needs in South Carolina. This year, a bill failed to make it to the governor's desk that would have addressed these needs, in part by allowing a joint partnership between two other utility providers in South Carolina, Dominion and Santee Cooper. But residents in rural areas tell me they feel their concerns in this area are being forgotten. Almost everybody in the community will look out and they're used to seeing in the morning a nice, beautiful sunrise. They'll have these ugly poles that are sticking right up in the front of their, their view. Rodney Neal is from Green Pond, just outside of Spartanburg. That's where Duke Energy plans to lay out a transmission line to connect to a new energy substation. At a public hearing this morning, he said that plan forces development on his rural community. They came out in the rural area. That's not where the growth is occurring. They selected an area because land is cheap. Uh, but yet it's not near the points of view. So the Public Service Commission also heard testimony on Duke's integrated resource plan to extend the lives of several of their energy plants and expand operations of a hydro pump facility in Oconee County. Duke Energy spokesperson Ryan Mosier says that the company's expansions are part of meeting the growing needs in the state. Business is booming in South Carolina, and that's a good thing. But with that comes challenges. And so utility companies like Duke Energy have to plan for those challenges. We have to make sure that the power is there when 24-7 manufacturers need it, when schools need it, when hospitals need it. Energy providers like Duke are continuing to expand after a bill died that would have created a 10-year plan to allow more energy growth, including restructuring the permitting process for energy projects. The providers say with the state's booming population, they'll need extra energy in the upcoming years. John Brooker is from the Conservation Voters of South Carolina. We need to be diligent and we can't rush to any solutions. A lot of people struggle to pay their energy bill in South Carolina. We have really high energy burden, so people pay a high proportion of their income to electricity and other utility bills. And so making sure that we're making the best choice in terms of cost and the best choice in terms of the environment. A special committee was tasked with looking at energy reform in South Carolina. That committee will meet Thursday. Reporting at the State House, Josie Frost, News 19, WLTX.